me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Whatever looks ahead. Hey guys, my name is Cameron, and we are with Ben Rescue with Kill Whitney Dead. What's going on, guys? How are you? Pretty. Uh, that that show for just for one was amazing. It was, that was awesome. That was really good. Um, how do you guys like Club Fathom? Very cool. Very cool. We had some issues, but other than that, the kids went off and had a great time, which is mm, always good. Yeah, yeah. The, the sound guy was uh, a yeah. little had some problems issues there but yeah. other than that though other than that it was awesome man we, yeah we, this is our first time here it was like show got moved what did they have like a week and a half to promote yeah all these kids came out so we're that was a huge factor yeah, yeah definitely. very good turnout given those circumstances yeah and seeing who was playing in nashville at the same time you guys were playing too which was BT, bam. yeah so <laughs> no it turned out it turned out to be really cool the, the crowd reacted really well yeah, so yeah. That's awesome. So coming from North Carolina, did you start there in North Carolina on this tour, or did you have you been out for uh, a while? Well, we were out for three weeks. Um, we had two weeks off, but we were out for three weeks before this. Mm -hmm. But we started in Johnson City last night, and then this is the second show of the four-week leg that we're doing. So. Oh no, that's fine. So I heard that. So you guys, your CD that you have out right now, you can only buy it at your shows, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Um, only on CD. Explain that. Explain a little bit about why that is the case. The, the soapbox thing. For sale over there, it's called Hell to Pay. You can only buy it from us at shows. It is not available for digital download. It's only available on CD. I don't like the fact that all music is going digital. When you go home tonight, if you learn anything from us besides painting and killing, start a record collection tomorrow. Let's just do one only on CD. Kind of make a statement. And, yeah. You know. Yeah, do it that way, and kids seem to dig it, man. Kids are behind the record, so that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed that you guys sold probably a couple tonight, uh, yeah. quite a few tonight. Yeah. So that's cool. So uh, aside from Kill Whitney Dead, you also manage Tribunal Records, yes. right? Yes. How do you, tell us how that works? You have a you have a pretty successful band, mm -hmm. and then you also are, are doing a record label. Yeah. How how do you juggle the two? Uh, well, I only do Kill When You Dead as far as touring, only in the summers. That's why uh, this this summer is the third summer in a row we've been out. It's called Some Traditions Never Die. Uh, I commit two months to touring with Kill When You Dead, and then the rest of the year I do the record label. Right so, I mean, Kill When You Dead plays actively, like, in the southeast. Mm -hmm. um, like, we'll go out, you know, for a few weekends here and there, but as far as heavy touring, it's just, just in the summertime. So, that's how I juggle it. The yeah. other... Uh, ten months is the label, so yeah, that's cool. So anybody new on the label that's coming up that you're just really excited about? Uh, these guys, or the, no, these guys aren't. They are now on Media Scare, Central yeah. Media. That's right. I kick their asses off label. <laughs> got dropped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got dropped in Central Media. It's like, yeah. Uh, there's a band from Atlanta called A Thousand Times Repent. Okay. Who are no. awesome. Um, there is a Swedish band. I just put out a record by called Enemy Is Us. Um, if you're into like at the gates and the haunted and all that kind of stuff, really good right. band. And I just put out the latest record by another German band called Six Reasons to Kill. We're awesome, awesome band. That's so awesome. Some too. international stuff and some domestic. Yeah, stuff definitely. Stuff. All all over the world. That's yep. that's sweet. That's the way to do it. That's sweet. So, uh, what is what is the future of Kill Whitney Dead? What do you see the future of Kill Whitney Dead being? Uh, well gonna take some time off we still have to work on a new record uh, there's discussions of a DVD because the guy who did our last DVD oh you gotta move yeah we got to go oh you need my keys oh okay, needs them to oh, okay. sorry <laughs> <laughs> Shit. sorry yeah, we're getting yelled at we gotta move the band oh that's fine um still want to go overseas yes we want to go overseas yeah, our record came out in Germany uh, in uh, February but right now with gas and the economy and all that yeah. kind of stuff. We're not really sure. So we want to do that, go overseas, uh, DVD, and eventually work on a new record, but it's their time to shine and get out and promote their new record coming out. Um, yeah. So I, I'm going to take a step that. back and like take some time off and kill me dead and let them do their thing because their new record kicks ass. So. That's cool. That's cool. You guys have a way intense show. Like
ring that you can feel. We were talking a little bit with the demonstration earlier, which is mainly you guys too, aside from you, um, and you know, and, and how that comes about. Just what what is what's some of your inspirations like as a band? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Hair metal for yeah. Hair metal for him. Hair for metal. me, see the ice dirt shirt. Yeah, for me, it's uh, metal, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm a little bit older, but uh, <laughs> bands like Integrity and when I was growing up, uh, Strife, just the old school hardcore bands. Like that's my main motivation is getting crowd participation and just giving it your all. There's so many bands that look like they're going through the motions, but you, you have, kids can feed off that and they feed off the energy that that we give out. And, and that's just what it's all about. Yeah. So for me, the old school bands like. I, I see it now when I go see bands like Terror and Stick mm -hmm. to Your Guns. They've got that same thing. So yeah. we try and bring that maybe with a little bit of more, a little more metal element rather than the like old school hardcore things. So. Right on. And in your music, you use a lot of sound clips. That's mm -hmm. kind of like your your thing. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, from the few times I've seen you, I've noticed a lot of sound clips. What is that? Uh, how did you get to start using that, or what is the reasoning uh, behind that? I just it was something when I I started the band uh, years ago. It was something that I wanted to include just to be different like a few bands were using them at the time like for the love of and a few other bands but I kind of wanted to just take it to another level like have tons of them all throughout the music and it be a voice within the band besides my vocals like I try and they're not just in the songs to be in the songs. some of them are like when I challenge him like in the studio I'll put a really you know sample a sample in there to kind of get every people pumped for a guitar solo so mm -hmm. that kind of stuff but everything else around it usually relates to the lyrics of the song or the vibe of the song you know that's what cool. I'm trying to convey. So it's just yeah. another voice, and it's just it's something different, you know. It is. It is different. You guys use them a whole lot. So yeah. let's go down the line. Let's, let's name some of your favorite movies. In um, okay. that being the case, what favorite movie? Oh, I couldn't even say. I don't even have a favorite <laughs> movie. Know. Favorite movie. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Office Space. Awesome. Um, Princess Bride. That's a funny movie. Bad Santa. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's a good selection. Yeah. Lord of the Rings. Good. And Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. <laughs> Boom. There you go. <laughs> Two of the best movies ever. I like, uh, I'm going to have to go with Alien, Halloween, Strange Brew for the Canadians. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Usual Suspects. Sweet. Hmm, I'm not sure. I watched Step Brother the other week. <laughs> oh, I forgot Hot Rod. That's the hot movie. That's uh, the number one movie that I've seen recently. Hot so, Rod is a good movie. Yeah, that's right. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, that's it. Step like, Brother. Step Brother. Uh, anything with Will Ferrell's yeah. face in it. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Talladega Nights. I watched Pretty that last Pretty hysterical stuff. Well, well thanks, guys. We appreciate you guys spending some time with Ben Rescue uh, tonight. I know you're tired and, and it's a long. You have a long trip to St. Louis, yes, but we appreciate yes. it. And I have a question. Yes. Okay. If you could be a female performer, who would you be? Ooh, Madonna. Ah, no. Me too. That's good. <laughs> no. Madonna. That's what I have to say. Or Pat Benatar. Oh, oh. yeah. It's a toss-up. Awesome. You could be Madonna. I'll All right, be Pat Benatar. You gotta do a duo though. Yeah. Yes, of course. Any other uh, out there? <laughs> Celine Dion. Uh, she's not quite as. She's, she's not. She's no Madonna by no means, but someone who does a lot of lesbian porn. Oh, uh, what is that? <laughs> tattoo? Share? Yeah, that tattoo Wait, she, said, she said performer. Oh, she's the same musician. You're right. That's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Pat Benatar, man. She doesn't get her due. <laughs> she rocks so hard. Yeah, she deserves a lot more. Mm -hmm. A lot more definitely, credit. Definitely. Well, we appreciate it, guys. And uh, any well, any more promotion you want to do? Is there anything else you want to say? No, we just want to thank everybody for the support that they've given us thus far. And, Without like fans talking about the band or you know telling their friends about us or check or whether they hate us or love us, we wouldn't be here without them. So that's we, we appreciate all the support. Definitely. So. Well, this is Band Rescue with Kill Whitney Dad. Thanks, guys. Woo! Right. Yeah. Thank you very much.